Free market economics is a two-way street. Supply and demand can be seen from both perspectives. On the one hand, a lack of currency and an excess of goods will mean low prices, but an excess of currency and a limited supply of goods means higher prices. Goods bid for currency just as currency bids for goods, and an excess of one results in a nominal increase in the value of the other. To summarise, excess currency always leads to higher prices. The people are not pleased. They're struggling. They were not the beneficiaries of the newly printed currency. They want change and they want it now, or they will force change. As the leaders of our tropical utopia, we have to find a way to prevent being removed from government. What are our options? Well, short of forming a dictatorship, we could introduce price controls. We could, for example, tell retailers that chicken cannot be sold for more than a set price, low enough for the commoner to afford easily. We could do this for a range of goods that the common person needs to live, so that they can be sure their weekly food basket will not increase in price. For a short while, this works, and people calm down. We have saved our government. For now. Government intervention into the free markets is almost never a good idea. Inevitably, trouble is brewing. The food stores, not being allowed to charge more than we tell them to, cannot pay their suppliers what it costs the suppliers to produce the goods. Food producers will not run at a loss, and so they shut down production. The inevitable consequence is food shortages. Food stores quickly run dry. People cannot find food, and job losses occur at all levels of the food supply chain. A black market for food springs into life, where prices are many magnitudes higher than our government has mandated. Remember, currency and goods work through the laws of supply and demand. Severely reduced supply and excess currency equals higher prices. The black market is simply the free market finding fair value, correcting for our monetary policy. The people are seriously discontented, and we are desperate to survive as a government. The economy is grinding to a halt because nobody can afford to produce goods, and any goods produced are too expensive for the common person. Now, as a government, realising that producers won't produce at the current prices, mandate that prices will increase by 100%. Producers should now be paid fairly for their products, and government price shops begin to fill their shelves once more. However, now hardly anyone can afford to actually buy the newly priced goods. After all, they're double the price they were yesterday. We need to get more money to the people on the ground. And so, we mandate that the minimum wage will increase by 300%. That should make up for months of suffering. But there's nothing like the amount of currency in circulation to provide the liquidity needed for such an increase. And our government employees and contractors must be paid for by us. And we don't have all that currency in these tough times. There is only one thing we can do. Let's light up the printing press. The total currency in circulation is now 20 bolivars, 